द लीग वी आर पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन इज़ अ रोबो कप जूनियर रेस्क्यू लाइन इन रेस्क्यू लाइन वी विल फॉलो द पाथ गिवन टू अस इंक्लूडिंग टर्नस रैम्प्स पम्प्स एक्सेट्रा द मेन गोल इज़ टू रेस्क्यू द विक्टम्स एंड पुट दैम इन द डेजिग्नेटेड एरियाज एंड रीच दैम टू सेफ्टी आर स्ट्रैटी इज टू प्रोग्राम द बॉट टू डिटेक्ट एंड फॉलो द लाइन एक्यूरेटली यूजिंग कलर सेंसर्स एंड मूवमेंट मोटर्स द बॉट विल चेंज स्पीड एंड डायरेक्शन वैन इट इनकाउंटर्स टर्नस और अन इवन सर्फिसज it will stop and finish the program after the detection of the end red line when a victim is detected the robot will stop pick it up using the arm and then navigate to the designated area to drop it off through the plate before exiting the rescue box and finishing the line following program we have used the lego spike prime kit along with its extension kit for the construction of our bot From the spike prime kit we have used three motors two medium motors for the movement which are attached to the wheels which are attached to the tracks we have used another medium motor for the arm we contemplated using large motors as they would have provided better torque yet due to them touching the ground and being larger we were not able to incorporate large motors into our design our bot uses a gear system with tracks for moving instead of wheels as we tested out both and reduced the tracks a better grip for ramps and bumps We also have used tracks in the past therefore being more experienced with how they function. We have an arm in front of our bot attached through a gear system that we created which is attached to our motor. The arm's function is mainly for the rescue area in terms of rescuing the victims and transporting them to safety. Our color sensors are at the front of the bot facing downwards. This placement is useful as it detects the path, various turns, the rescue box and even when the task finishes. Our ultrasonic is placed at the top front of the bot and detects any obstacles in its way. We are using a gyro sensor which is built in our hub. Therefore the positioning of the hub is crucial as to what component we will be using for our programming. Roll, pitch or yaw. For programming our bot, we have used the Lego Spike Prime software. We have programmed the ultrasonic sensor to overcome the obstacle by detecting it and going around the object with ease and accuracy. We use movement and sensor-based blocks to create the code as it is a vital part for the line following and the path in general. For the coding of the ramps, we use the roll component in our gyro sensor which is built in in the hub. It helps the bot navigate the ramp and change and operate the code as per that. It follows the movement on the ramp and goes up and down with ease. Following the path is the most important part of our program. It consists of all the components of our code and operates the movement of our bot. The color sensor detects various colors on the path such as black, white, green, and based on that, the bot steers in a way moving along the given route. The turns on the map are detected through green dots on the map. We have programmed our bot as such so whenever it detects a green dot before the line, it's supposed to turn in that direction. Whenever there's a dot after the line it goes forward and consider it a straight line. Finally, whenever a robot detects two green dots, it takes a U-turn and returns in the opposite direction. These are relevant to the line following and make turning more efficient on the mat. The rescue program is the final part of our program. It includes rescuing the victim and providing them safely in the designated compartments. Using the ultrasonic sensor to detect the area around it, the bot will accordingly rescue the victims, transport them to safety, and exit the rescue area to continue line following. While programming and constructing the bot, our team faced numerous challenges. For construction, there were multiple difficulties we encountered, whether it was deciding the orientation of certain parts, readjusting parts that wouldn't fit properly, or trying to figure out how to give equal stability. Another key issue was managing wires. We had to be extremely careful because we didn't want them to interfere with other motors, sensors or moving parts. While programming, there were also several instances where the code tended to lag or fail to work in the way we intended it to, which meant we had to make certain changes or adjustments or scrap and redo parts of the program which greatly affected our time. But with the support of our mentors alongside prototyping different versions, we could overcome said aspects and move forward with the process. A huge thanks and word of credit to our mentors, Kamini Ma'am, Ganga Ma'am, Mudit Sir, Hari Sir, and Kamlesh Sir. We wanted to thank them for guiding us and supporting us throughout every competition and always being open for discussion.